what does Beethoven mean to me? That's a, a really interesting question. Um, he, well, he's a personal favourite of mine. I can't deny that. Um, and I, I love, I love his, I love his. Um, oh, it's difficult to say. I mean, I love the way that he is. He is absolutely his own person in terms of the music that he's he's writing. It's absolutely from the heart. Technically, of course, it's extraordinary. But he's, you know, when you hear Beethoven, you kind of know it's Beethoven, which is a huge compliment. And I feel the same about Stravinsky. When you hear Stravinsky, whether it's 12 tone or whether it's kind of the neoclassical period, you know it's Stravinsky. I just love his abandon. I, I, love, I love what he was doing at that point in, in kind of that 90, early 19th century music. He just pushed it on to a completely different level, looking back at Mozart and Haydn. And it's something that I feel, you know, I, I really, really enjoy. Um, not just the, the brutality of some of the music, but, but the, the, the beauty of some of the music as well. I think it's all there. And um, it's, a great, it's, it's great to see an orchestra like ours really getting their teeth into those symphonies. We're really looking forward to it.